वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम फ्रॉम मोहन एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ नेम रिएक्शन दैट इज एच वी जेड रिएक्शन फुल फॉर्म इज हेल होलर जेलेन्स्की रिएक्शन नेम्ड आफ्टर थ्री साइंटिस्ट हेल होलर एंड जेलेन्स्की कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड गिविंग अल्फा हाइड्रोजन टू अल्फा हैलो कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ रेड फास्फोरस एज अ कैटलिस्ट एंड दैट रिएजेंट इज ब्रोमीन एंड क्लोरीन दिस इज so today we will explain about first the mechanism second why not the flora fluorine and chlorine could be used in this reagent why we are using red phosphorus and another thing is it necessary to use a catalyst and can we avoid this use of catalyst and finally selectivity we are saying alpha position means alpha acid alpha hydrogen containing acid okay so is it so selectivity is at alpha position or not so a lot of things to be learned during this discussion so let's start so from reaction you can see red phosphorus as a catalyst so first discuss what red phosphorus is doing actually red phosphorus is reacting with bromine or chlorine let's take bromine and it produces pbr3 if we balance the reaction that is 2 phosphorus 3 bromine that is 2 pbr3 and that is acting as a catalyst so instead of this phosphorus we can take pbr3 also okay so we can take pbr3 pcl3 etc now the question means i explain mechanism sometime later why not fluorine and hydrogen for example if we want to use fluorine then fluorine may react with this hydrogen and form this fluorine can form hf in some side reaction second why not iodine because iodine has a slow reactivity iodine has a slow reaction and its reactivity is slower that's why iodine is not preferred and here you can see actually as a catalyst we can take pbr3 pcl3 or pi3 according to logic but pi3 we can't take because it is not that much a stable compound so difficult to handle during a reaction and why can't we use means why we are using red phosphorus we can use a other phosphorus like white phosphorus means white phosphorus because white phosphorus is highly reactive it's highly reactive that's why when it comes in presence of moisture it in atmosphere uh, air it catches fire that's why it's a since it's a very reactive reaction that's why we're avoiding but it is not that it can't do the reaction it can do the reaction actually the main thing is happening by this pvr3 or p phosphorus halide so reaction will happen but due to hazard we are avoiding and red phosphorus are less reactive reagent when it is capable to convert something why to use a strong reagent okay okay and so basic thing we have discussed and let's start the main mechanistic description okay so here the reaction is happening through enolization sorry uh, actually enolization so before enolization what's happening this carboxylic acid is converted into in presence of p uh, br or it's let's consider br instead of chlorine let's take br and another thing why we are not preferring chlorine actually chlorine is less preferred over bromine is because of chlorine's higher reactivity that can result is beta gamma that type of halogenation so that's why it is better to use chlorine so if we take bromine then it will produce pbr3 and what will happen this pbr3 will react with acid and produce question why we know alcohol means the hydroxyl group can attack the phosphorus because phosphorus is in plus 3 oxidation state and another thing it attacks this phosphorus and this reaction happens via an plus dn means addition of nucleophile departure of nucleophuge nucleophuge means leaving group so this attack happens and this attack possible 
because phosphorus can expand its coordination number due to the energetic energetically accessible weakened t orbitals what happens it attacks and after that what produces this produces o and minus and then after that this oxygen since it's plus it removes the charge this proton and we can neutral and in consequently a halide left comes out to maintain electron neutrality if a halide comes out what happened this negative charge goes and here a bromide is produced and in the reaction medium h plus is there okay so what happened this bromide attacks here here it push back this go opposite so consequently what happened we are getting r co br now question why this attacks and this oxygen leaves the reason is because of the stability of phosphorus oxygen bond like in vitigation i have told the stability of phosphorus oxygen bond is one of the most important factor so consequently the stability of phosphorus oxygen bond drives the reaction okay so from carboxylic acid to a more reactive derivative carbo acid halide produced and the reaction medium is actually acidic and we know like Uh, ionization of carbonyl we have read i have made a video previously means you know uh, halogenation of ketone under acidic and basic condition the same phenomena is happening there under acidic condition so i suggest you please see that with that video once i should put, uh, provide the link so what happened this is more electron deficient reagent okay so since it's more electron deficient is prone to ionization okay because previously carboxylic acid not so much electron deficient that it undergo ionization easily but due to the presence of this bromide because bromine is all also a electron withdrawing means this is minus i this is minus i so electron deficient consequently ionization happens and what it produces it produces r c double bond o oh and pr okay now this is i know and we know in also more electron rich compared to a double bond means it is attached to electron rich moiety so right now it can react with this bromine okay so it provides and these attacks and another thing we know this halogens are is acidic in nature because of energetically accessible next taking d orbit okay in case of chlorine this is possible bromine this is possible so what it produces it produces c br and here this is o and c and here is one h is there so that h is removed after that why because this is electron withdrawing group another thing here also a electron withdrawing group attached so the electron availability of this carbonyl oxygen is less so it is less efficient to under uh, less efficient for uh, giving its electron to a base okay so this is happen so if we hydrolyze this in presence of water it will produce alpha halo carboxylic acid okay the main important thing is that for this purpose we need a stoichiometric amount of phosphorus if it is stoichiometric we can consider catalytic but advantage of stoichiometric is the the fast reaction kinetics that's why generally it is preferred that rest phosphorus should be taken stoichiometric amount such that stoichiometric pbr3 produce or pcl3 produce and reaction will be faster if it is not stoichiometric if it is catalytic what will happen actually if it is catalytic then reaction proceeds to a mix means it's it's uh, proceeds through the formation of a mixed anhydride what do i mean this acid halide you know very reactive reagent very electron deficient so another molecule of this carboxylic acid attacks so what happens if it attacks means that oh group of carboxylic acid attacks okay so a mix anhydride is from this and next time it leaves so it produces r r prime c double bond o oxygen this is and here and uh, okay sorry i made a mistake after formation of this halide means fast reaction cycle 
this alpha halo thing is produced because when this is produced it undergo reaction so fine but when this halogen is incorporated its minus a effect also added to this factor so it is become so much electron efficient that that's why this reaction have this attacks and another thing as i told it's a slow kinetics because product is after this uh, after the consumption of uh, the total phosphorus trigromide the reaction medium it produces the alpha halo as uh, means alpha bromo acetyl bromide and since it's slow kinetics then this carboxylic acid goes and attacks here and a mixed anhydride is formed mix means this so here CH and this is R both substitution and right now you can see and previously after this attack one unit of proton is loosed and that proton is being going to bind here okay because medium is acidic consequently you can see this this carboxyl group because this this one this one right now is highly electron deficient okay because of first this is a mixed anhydride and this part of anhydride attached to bromine electron deficient and another thing here the protonation of you may ask the question why not protonation here because if you compare the electron richness of these two oxygen this is more electron rich because here bromine is there which is have a electron withdrawing nature and that electron withdrawing nature reduces the electron density of this oxygen consequently protonation will happen here and when protonation will happen here that will result in extreme electron deficiency and consequently anodization will occur so what compared to previous previous case anodization will occur due to acyl chloride formation acid chloride both are electron withdrawing the oxygen and halogen and here although it is not halogen but still it is attached to a electron withdrawing group okay carbonyl and another thing it's a halide so this anodization will occur and this anodization this anodization will produce anol further and this further anol will as it is react with bromine in a similar fashion so ultimately this will go this will come this will leave so in this way another mixed anhydride is formed so here you can see this after this reaction this cbr is forming br attached and another thing this proton will be given because after attachment this is also electron deficient consequently what will happen this moiety this moiety would be attacked by another carboxylic acid okay so and even that could be possible another carboxylic acid can uh, attack and form form a mix anhydride one step and second step is the removed bromide anion removed bromide anion can also attack this or this both are symmetrical doesn't matter so it close and it comes another thing it is also a good linking group because first of point is carboxyl group second point is this carboxyl is due to electron re, uh, deficient halogen so it will leave and consequently what will happen this it will generate the acyl halide again this reaction so in this way the reaction will continue until whole carboxylic acid is converted into carboxylic acid halide okay so what we have achieved we have achieved this reagent this carboxylic acid halide this is the product okay if this is the product what will happen during work up it will produce acid for example if we use water that will produce the acid okay if we produce use alcohol like ethanol that will produce ester what is that this C B R C O O E T. How? Because it's an acid chloride, you know, very reactive reagent, electron deficient. So this alcohol will attack here with this oxygen. Consequently, second step, this bromide will leave, and after that, this alcohol will release one proton to prepare this ester. So this is now the question comes that. is use of phosphorus necessary because all the question i have uh, written i have discussed now the question necessity of phosphorus so if you look at the role of phosphorus you can see phosphorus is used as to generate the acid halide okay that is the role of phosphorus only no role is there so consequently if we take acid halide previously so instead of this if we take 
if we take the acid halide initially for example this is chloride or bromide anything <coughs> by the reaction of this carboxylic acid with thionyl chloride pcl3 whatever so this is then it is not necessary to use a phosphorus then only bromine or chlorine is capable to halogenate this second point phosphorus if for example if we take pbr3 and chlorine so what atom will be inserted into this alpha position always keep it in mind whatever halogen we are taking that is actually incorporated at this position okay so again we exam question will be given to you to confuse because if we take pbr3 chlorine that will be chlorination if we take pcl3 bromine that will be bromination because role of phosphorus is to prepare acid halide and that is undergo work hydrolysis during work okay so this is the this is the role of this phosphorus so this is so keep this factor in mind and it is not necessary to use phosphorus if we take previously also acid halide but generally why we take phosphorus because acid halide is very reactive is and difficult to store handling lots of hazards there so it is better if weak means mild condition is capable to bring about a conversion why to use a why to use a difficult condition okay harsh condition so this is another another thing is that instead of instead of uh, this acid halide we can take acid directly and we can take a anhydride producing reagent for example let's take anhydride which do not have any alpha hydrogen so that will not interfere so that anhydride if we take so it will produce a mixed anhydride so as we i have explained previously that mixed anhydride can undergo that uh, reaction halogenation but it's a slow kinetic but it will happen so that is another possibility of substitution of phosphorus we can take mixed anhydride and in that way the reaction will occur okay okay so this is the complete just with the description and uh, we have explained about the hvj reaction in this video about mechanism why not fluorine and iodine we can use why not white phosphorus we use as well as is the, how can we avoid the use of phosphorus and finally selectivity in case of chlorine there is a selectivity less selectivity because of more reactivity is instead of alpha it can go beta gamma also but in case of bromine reactivity is less selectivity is more so this we have learned so next day i shall explain some application of this hvj reaction okay so thank you for listening my video if you like my teaching please give a like share this video among your friends such that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally subscribe my channel to instruct the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload so stay blessed see you in my next video